Tony Scongeli here with day six of the free to play series. Day five was relatively uneventful, so we're gonna focus today on unlocking the second to last piece of the defenders team in Iron Fist and powering through some challenges, balancing out the villains team, and really focusing on building the best practices now so that in the future, we're always as efficient as we can be. Since we've already learned it really doesn't matter where I start here, I'm going to try to get my first arena match out of the way. Should be relatively easy this early on, but you never know an arena. Since we have some time before our next arena match, I'm going to spend some energy and uh, focus on some characters I'd like to unlock. Night Nurse is definitely one of them, and I probably need a villain, so we're going to focus a little bit on Hand Sorceress. It's around now that the monotony of the daily starts to set in, but in reality, these are things you're going to be doing every day, so the fact that we get XP and gold for doing the things we're going to do anyway is definitely going to help. I'm going to take a couple look at the challenges and we're going to follow the rule of try the hardest one you can just to see how far you can get. And with that, we learned we can't get that far on that challenge. So we'll move on to the next one after auto-cleaning the rest. This one should be relatively easy. And the victory without the three star is fine. Can't really push forward until I bring up the Ravager Bruiser, so I'm going to have to remember to do that soon. In the meantime, I'm just going to work on a couple more of these dailies, maybe get a level up in the process. Now we'll focus a little on Blitz. I'm not stressed too much about the Hand Blade Master Blitz. It's not a particularly high value character for me to unlock, but I am still gonna try my best to get as many points, which will give me more Blitz Orbs, which will give me more chances at characters I do want, and money. So, pluses all around. And with that, we got our level up, which is going to be great. I'm going to hopefully bring some other characters up, give another good attempt at the Iron Fist node, just finish up what I can here before I move on to the next content. I'm noticing my Jessica Jones is a little bit lower than the rest of the team, and it's not going to take much effort to bring her up. So. Now's a great time to power up the team. Give it the old just level treatment, claim some achievements as I can, and move to the next part of the day. And here we go. We're gonna give the Iron Fist note a shot. I'm not confident right now that I could beat Ultron post rework <laughs> with this team this early, but all I want to do is beat it. Once I know I can beat it, I know I can fight it manually and still unlock the shards I need. So as long as I can get a win today, I'll feel progress, even though I haven't necessarily unlocked the character yet.
Mm, not quite there yet. That's fine. Uh, instead of just spending the energy now on a retry, I'm gonna try some other content I have to work towards, like the Villains node. See if I can do any work on this. Uh, I'm gonna have plenty of energy left over to go back and try a new strategy on Iron Fist, but for now, let's see how far we can progress. Well, a win is a win, but that did not feel clean, so I don't feel confident going any further into the villain's node. Uh, let's see what else I can do. Well, my crossbones is woefully underpowered for the content, so let's just spend a little bit of time getting him pat more powerful, and then we'll check in on our arena. It's probably enough time has passed that I can get that second match in. The thing I try to keep in mind in this playthrough is that I'm foregoing early arena rank to build a, a powerful team in the Defenders. So while most people will tell you that arena would be the best way to get cores, as you noticed, I'm very thrifty with my cores right now, so I'm not particularly panicked about my arena rank. I hope we'll get as high as I can, but I won't worry too much. And with that, We've unlocked our first, quote, welfare character in Wolverine. Wolverine is not particularly bad, but not particularly good. I will bring him up probably a little past my normal level 30 gear tier 4, but only because he'll be usable in a lot of content where I just need to power through with some damage. And... He's a mutant, and a lot of the mutant gear I have is not going to be very relevant this early. I'm not going to have access to Cable or Deadpool, and Mystique and Sabretooth are just not coming out anytime soon. And as you can tell, I'm not quite done with this Iron Fist node yet. I'm going to make a slight change by putting in Jessica Jones, and we're going to see if I can do some meaningful damage to this. I think we can all agree that uh, this win was made possible via Loki. Uh, his summon was actually just good enough to push me through. I probably wouldn't have been able to get that far if I hadn't un unlocked Loki, but RNG is in this game, so I couldn't know either way. I'm just happy I got it beaten so I can fight it in the future. And for anyone who wonders if the slow, arduous grind of Daredevil is worth it over unlocking someone like Quake, Drax, or Mordo, the answer is absolutely. As a free-to-play player, having Daredevil is way more important than an early Quake. Quake can be unlocked anytime, Drax can be unlocked anytime, but getting those 100 Daredevil shards 
is going to immediately make a difference for your team. And I assure you in the next few videos, you will see. Yeah, I have some extra resources, so I'm gonna power up this bruiser. He's gonna be incredibly useful when he doesn't die immediately in the villain's campaign. And I'm pretty sure I need a protector for one of the challenges, so let's get right to it. Give it a shot right now. Look at that, we were able to skip an entire tier just by focusing on crossbones a little earlier and bringing the bruiser up so he doesn't get one shot. And now we've three starred an entire tier, never have to do that tier three one again. A little sad I didn't unlock Hand Sorceress there, but I have this extra energy. I might as well give this one more go with a slightly different team comp. Pulling Punisher was probably not the best idea, but since he doesn't have the extra 30% damage to everyone yet, I'm going to give Spider-Man's dodge a chance. Let's see if he survives and I can do a little bit better on this. Well, the strategy worked, but it didn't give me three stars, so I'll have to try again later. And since we finished all of the dailies for the day, uh, it's time to kind of check our progress. We've grown to 26k total collection power. Not bad. Let's see how we stack up to everyone else. Well, we broke the 100,000 mark. That's great, and that's a huge progress jump for us. We can see the people around us are similar. All in all, better progression today than there was yesterday, and I'm looking forward to good progression tomorrow. And as always, if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. For questions or advice, follow me on twitch.tv slash Tony